Welcome to Retro Skill Modeling. This is part 12 of the Hachi HMS Hood Build Skill 1 to 200. In, in this um, part, I'll be uh, placing on some furniture onto the hull and then getting onto the painting. Uh, as I stated in the previous video, I'm doing these auto uh, sequence to the issues now. So, as you can see there, I'm doing issue 94 and 121. So, let's jump into this and see how I get on. To begin with, I'm uh, starting on issue 94, and this is predominantly a photo wedge part uh, issue. The, the, as you can see in the pictures there, this is uh, where the, um, the these uh, photo wedge run down. Um, they, they're just um, doors and um, markings for the hull. So to start with, I'm just uh, taking off the photo wedge off the sprue. There's a bottom plate to this uh, photo wedge, so I'm assembling it on the sprue. This just makes it easier for me to assemble and instead of cutting both pieces out then assembling them on the mat. It just um, helps uh, placing the pieces together uh, when I'm doing it. I find it a little bit uh, messy when I'm doing it onto the mat. To place them on I'm using um, a little bit of super glue and some uh, white glue. These uh, run down the edge of the hull you can see here. Um, I have to make sure I get them in the right order because they, they run along the top bridge of the hull then dip down before coming back up again. So it's crucial that I got the um, positioning right before I placed any glue on. They run down roughly the middle section of the hull and I, again I just have to be careful that I'm getting them in the, the right position especially in the centre part of the hull where, where the railings and so forth uh, meet. Well, the, the side wall, not the railings. Um, again, it's uh, crucial to, to get this right because other parts will be getting added on later on down the, the belt. So um, he, he, I really had to make sure that I got everything in place. The instruction suggested that I leave the doors on the sprue, uh, don't detach them before I cement them into position. I actually found this quite difficult um, because the four is just so um, thick um, it's very difficult just to snip the um, uh, sprue uh, off uh, with your knife. So you really have to dig into the hole just to do it and it's not worth it. So. Um, in the end, um, this was the only one I tried th this way. In the end, I, I just uh, made a little mark on how to position them before I'm um, snipping them off and placing them on like you would normally do. On to issue 121 now. And these are for the um, prop shafts and um, the mounting for the screws. The, there's a little template here that, that I'll be using to um, mark the hole where everything goes. Uh, as you can see, it's a fairly simple um, assembly here. I have to cut down the um, brass tube, um, but apart from that, everything should be okay. First of all, assembling the housing uh, for the uh, screws. Uh, it's a simple um, assembly here. It's just a, one of the um, supporting arms um, getting placed into the housing, and that's it. There is um, a left and a right side, though, so I had to make sure that I didn't get them mixed up. Um, cutting out the template, um, not a problem. A, a new blade in the knife and just uh, draw my blade down the line uh, to cut out the template. Once the template was cut out, it was just a simple case of uh, placing it on the bottom of the hull, securing it with a bit of masking tape before tracing out the area that I need. And I'm just using my pencil for this. I'm just going around the cut up cut out areas of the template and this is where the housings uh, will sit for the um, prop shaft and screws. Next was to cut the prop shafts. Um, they, they had to be quite exact. Um, there is quite a little bit of room for leeway um, if I got the measurements slightly wrong. But um, this stuff was quite tough to cut. Um, I'm using my old um, Japanese razor saw here uh, to cut them. Um, it was difficult to get it started and um, it's, uh, the, it was actually tougher than I they normally are. So once they're cut I'm just uh, securing one end to the um, screw housing and that's uh, just with a little bit of uh, super glue. The um, 
the actual uh, main housing of the shaft won't be um, glued just here and until I'm, I'm happy with the positioning on now it's just there as a guide so I'll dry fed it and uh, make sure everything is um, how I want it to be and now is the time to actually peel, place it onto the hull so um, again using a little bit of white glue uh, just to secure them um, as you see the they fit exactly where the markings are that I, I used with the template and for the second one to go on. As I said before, there's a left and right for these then, so I had to make sure I had them in the correct, correct position. Next is the rudder. Now, I'm only putting this in as a temporary uh, measure um, for painting. Now, I had a bit of problem with the rudder. Um, I managed to snap off the um, arm that attaches the, the rudder. I done this very early on in the build process um, that I haven't filmed because that was before I decided so decided to film it. So I've used a bit of uh, scrap from the sprue uh, to recreate this. Um, I'm not 100% happy with the angle of the rudder at the moment. Um, as I said though it's only on there temporarily so that I can get it all painted in one go. Going on to the actual painting of the hull now, and first of all, I'm painting in the black stripe, and I'm using Revel Aquacolor 07 black gloss for this. And now this stripe runs all the way around the um, hull. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just painting um, a stripe right around. I'm not putting any finesse into the actual line of the paint. I'm just making sure it'll be enough to cover. The, the actual line before masking it off. On to masking now, I've already put a coat of um, clear onto the um, black paint I should point out. That's just to stop a little bit of paint lifting with the masking tape. And the masking tape is Tamiya 6mm masking tape. Now I, I choose this size because it's practically the size that I need for, for the hull anyway. So I don't have to worry about um, using smaller or uh, thinner parts of tape to increase the size, doubling it over and so forth. So it's quite lucky that the 6mm tape is around the uh, size that I want. So now that it's masked off and having a um, mask off uh, the top of the uh, ship uh, for the main colour uh, at the bottom of the hull. So I'm just using um, pieces of paper to do this, uh, attaching them to the mask that I've already placed on. And I'll just carry on doing this all the way around the, the ship until I've got it all masked off. I'm going to be using the primer first and it's half of the red primer that I'm using. So I've taken the kit outside to prime this and I'm just putting a, a, a steady coat of red primer onto the base of the hull. Um, yeah, I'll take a, a couple of coats uh, just to get it uh, nice and even. Onto the painting and it's Revel Aquacolor 331 purple red that I'm using. Now this is the colour I use for all my um, ships that I I build. Not necessarily 100% uh, proper uh, colour. It's slightly darker than it should be. But um, it saves from mixing colours um, to get the proper tone. But I do actually like this colour. I think it sits rather well on the model. As I'm painting, when I get to the masking tape, I paint from the masking tape onto the actual uh, part that I want to be covered and then paint. This helps uh, to prevent any paint blades that may occur. Moving on to Revel Aquacolor 99 Aluminium and I'm using this for the uh, prop shafts. Um, I'm never sure whether I should paint these in a steel or aluminium cover but this time I opted for aluminium. And once the paint's dry, it's time to remove the paper um, and leaving on the um, bottom part of the masking tape that's covering up the black stripe. And then it's on to Revel Aquacolor 43 medium grey and for the main colour of the hull. Like the bottom uh, of the hull, uh, I'm painting in the same way, um, going from the masking tape onto the, the hull to eliminate uh, bleed. Yeah. You may get a little bit of paint bleed. Um, you can seal your masking tape with a bit of varnish or the bottom colour, which you've 
painting over, that also helps uh, eliminate paint bleeds. But I, I decided just to jump um, in to see how we go. And I, as you can tell, I am still using the, the brush to paint this model. Um, it's a little bit big to show you all in one go, uh, but you get the general idea of what I'm doing here. And once the paint is dried, uh, it's time to move the mask and tape. Now the mask and tape is a little bit more difficult to remove off than normal because there's so many layers of paint. So um, occasionally uh, it will be a tear, but it's uh, easy enough uh, just to restart the, the pool and take it off. I'm trying to take it off in one slow motion. As you can see there, there's a tiny little bit of paint blade. Um, not much. But that will be easy to sort out, so I'm just doing that now, uh, taking my base colours and uh, just painting up to the black line uh, where, where th there is a, a little bit of paint blade here and there. And I'll be doing the same again with the black line actually onto the black and um, just taking off any paint blade that I see. And I'll be the same with the grey as well. So I'll just do it all three colours again. But, um, just tiny little amounts and to finish it off I'm just putting a, a coat of pledge player uh, on to seal everything in well that will bring part 12 to a close and um, that's the how uh, painted it is not uh, perfect there's a, a little bit of uh, dense in the hole that I've noticed as I've been along I, I may fill them in um, later on down the line but for now I'm just going to keep it the way it is and see how the mo whole model looks when it's built up. Um, I may, may readdress it, I'm, I'm not too sure. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel uh, for the rest of this build or indeed for the rest of my content. If you subscribe to the channel you'll be notified of um, all the updates for this build and my future builds. Hit that like button and uh, of course leave a comment. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.